Black. Oh, oh, like oh. Yeah. Uh, you, you guys do. Black. Big <laughs> Idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Alexis. I'm Ashley. I'm Rick. And today you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. So juicy. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Um, but <laughs> today we are doing a movie review. <laughs> um, and uh, it is about black. The film by um, Sanjay Lila Mansali, who we love. Yes. I was uh, like, Corbin, you know this. Yes, I do. Like, <laughs> visual master. Yes, and, and it, also written partly as well, or fully. Screen. Was it fully? It was fully written by Sanjay. Okay, fully written by him. Yeah. Um, and then it has obviously Amitabh Bachchan. Amitabh Bachchan. And. Um, Ronnie. Ronnie Mukherjee. Ronnie Mukherjee. Yeah. Which I believe is the uh, first time we've seen her, right? Yes, unless I'm wrong. As we've seen her in trailers, but we've not seen a film of hers. Okay. Yes. Um, and I mean, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, it's the first time we're seeing her in a film. <clears throat> she's opposite Big B. Um, but yes. Uh, somebody want to read the synopsis real quick? Go for it. One of you ladies. How you should actually, because you played Helen. Okay. <laughs> More on that in a minute. Okay. <laughs> The cathartic tale of a young woman who can't see, hear, or talk, and a teacher who brings a ray of light into her dark world. Okay. Yes. So, um, this yes. is um, obviously very, and it said in the beginning, very inspired by Helen Keller. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Look and at all the seagulls and seagulls involved. Check that out. Hey. Oh. The editor is a seagull. I like it. You were Indians in best life. Very adapted, especially in the first half, to the Miracle Worker. Yep. It was the Miracle Which Worker. Which you guys were... Very familiar with. You directed it, correct, Rick? Yes. Shall I yes. go off on that go off, trail? Please. So, sure. um, <laughs> many, many years ago, back at the place where all of us met this whole clan. Well, here, um, no, we met him. <laughs> we well, yeah. Met prior we to met that prior true. to that time. We did. We've known each other for quite a while. Yes, quite a while. And at the school where th all three of them attended and I taught, we had a conservatory of fine art that I was the director of, and I also taught theater. And when we started to do plays, I wanted to put things on stage that we wanted to put into a time capsule. The first thing that we ever did was Hamlet, and then the second thing we did was The Miracle Worker. And I have a deep love for Helen, a very, very deep love for Helen, and the audition process was really awesome because Ashley made it known at the ripe old age of, what were you, six? Seven. Or seven. Was I was six when you announced it, and yeah, seven, seven when you did it. it. Which Patty, <coughs> did you have <coughs> seen? <coughs> what? what was that? Mushy. <coughs> Go on. I was. I just made a joke. I was coughing. <laughs> oh, it was supposed to be just. Fun. Just, just go. Just go. I was <laughs> coughing, and then I made a joke at it. Go. So when Patty. <laughs> In the original film, The Miracle Worker, with Anne Bancroft and Patty Duke, with Patty Duke playing Helen and Anne Bancroft playing Annie, Patty Duke was 12. Helen was actually about six years old when Annie came to her. And you can't get a six-year-old to play Helen. Well, actually, you can. Ashley Siegel could do it. Um, because you need the depth of emotion and the capacity to play a deaf and a blind girl, and Patty did a great job in the film. Ashley wanted to play Helen. And I wasn't going to be guilty of nepotism or anything like that, so I had a group of people do the casting process, and it was a no-brainer. Uh, she was great. We actually, I should probably post some footage of that, because I've got some footage oh, of yeah. Ashley as, <laughs> as Helen. And we actually took the cast up to the Helen Keller School for the Deaf and the Blind in Austin and that. saw a full-blown production that they did of Into the Woods. Oh, wow. It was yeah. Into the Woods? It was I Into the Woods. That. And that was Granted, and the whole, everyone video. in the cast. <laughs> Either one, everyone in the cast was either deaf and blind, or just blind or deaf. So y'all were very familiar, obviously. With Intimately, with, yeah. I know every the frame of film on that, and I know everything about Helen's life. I've read every book that Helen wrote. Uh, I know everything about her life. And so, you're what they call an expert. On Helen. Yeah. And I have never seen it. I know very little about her. So I was more raw about this film. No, I never saw that one. Yeah, no, he's not that seen it. Y'all did that. Uh, but my... Uh, she who shall not be named was in this production as well 
Um, <laughs> and so she was the wife. Don't talk about her. Um, oh. But <laughs> the uh, she was telling me, wife. especially the first half was um, a lot of shots were almost identical, identical. Yeah. Uh, to yeah, the, the first shots. The first the hour of this film is the miracle yeah. worker. Yeah. So I was wondering how y'all would enjoy this, being very familiar with the whole uh, work of one Helen and also the miracle worker. Spoiler uh, alert: We're going to yes. talk about the film lots. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so please. Go off. I thought that it was good. When they first started, I wasn't sure if it was just going to be the exact same thing as a miracle worker, <clears throat> just in India. Like, I wasn't sure when it started, because everything, you were literally saying frame by frame, same scenes, just different settings. It was the exact same. Um, but then it, I, I really liked the twist that they took, and that it wasn't just about, oh, this teacher was so great and taught her everything. But then at the end of it, it switched, and she was able to reteach him. Mm -hmm. I thought that was so beautiful, and it was just like the full circle of how life is. And I think that it played on deafness, blindness, and gave light to what Alzheimer's is, because that's a yeah. huge thing that most people, if you haven't experienced it firsthand, don't actually understand what it means. It's just like, oh, someone forgot. Mm -hmm. But no, it literally can make someone nonverbal and completely unaware and just gone. And like, yes. The essence of who they are is gone. And put them and put them into the world that <laughs> Helen described herself before, in her words, teacher camp. Yeah. That her world was nothing but darkness, which is why, you know, Mr. Bonsali calling this black yeah. is incredibly fitting mm -hmm. because at the one hand, Helen in her own writing said, I was nothing but a little mass of nothing yeah. until teacher camp. Mm -hmm. No one could reach me and I couldn't reach anyone else until teacher came. Yeah. And she was able to give me expression and reach me. And it happened for Helen. Uh, it w they used a fountain in this, but in The Miracle Worker and the real story of Helen, it happened at a water pump. Mm -hmm. And it was at the water pump where Helen first began to understand that teacher was trying to reach her. Mm -hmm. And did. And everything exploded from that point on and they could actually begin to communicate. Yeah. And so for him, and, and here's, here's the difference, is that The Miracle Worker story ends, the, cl the climax is the water pump. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Got Everything yeah. builds to the water to pump. That point. And that is the penultimate moment of the film when you realize she's finally reached her. And now for the rest of her life, she'll be able to... And it stops there. Well, that's just the beginning the very, of their story. Very beginning, yeah. Because they knew each other for all of Helen's adult life. I mean, it goes into when Helen was in her 30s mm -hmm. before Annie passed away. Mm -hmm. And the relationship that they had, the closeness that they had. She did go to college. Helen went to college. Uh, wrote books. She was, was she, she did speaking. She tried to talk. She learned to play the piano all because of, of Annie. And I loved, though this didn't happen the way it's depicted, it does convey <coughs> the depth of the closeness that of Helen had with Annie. Yeah. The love she had for her. And the that sister? is... No, no, no. Annie's the, no, te Annie's the teacher. The oh, gotcha. Yeah. The yeah. Uh, uh, on the top of the Yes. Right. Yeah. Big yeah. B's yeah. character is actually a woman in real life. Gotcha, gotcha. But I loved that aspect of it, that the, the connection point, and him also being male. The, the, I thought it was beautiful because in The Miracle Worker, and, and unless you read her books, you don't get to understand how Helen felt in her adult life about, I, I will probably never get to know the love I've mm -hmm. learned about in Shakespeare and all these other things. So it was really beautiful. I've never seen a film try to depict Helen's battles with, with being, I'm a woman and I want to know yeah. what it's like to have a man. Mm -hmm. and his challenge to express that. I thought that was great. So yeah. anyway, back to yeah, that was awesome. what you guys were thinking. Um, so the, um, what <laughs> I want to talk about, I'm going to talk about Sean mm -hmm. right now. <laughs> that man is so freaking good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously we know this. We know this. This is not news. Obviously. However. Um, but this is such a different role mm -hmm. than what, yeah. I mean, it was similar in terms of the, um, Quirkiness almost of mm -hmm. the Piku. Right, right. There's but a, there's a quirkiness, mm -hmm. but totally but different. Very guy. different. Yeah, totally different. Um, and also, it was my first experience with this whole storyline as well um, of somebody who was deaf blind. She was deaf blind. She wasn't mute, right? No, no, no. 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 Um, but yeah. she just wasn't able to well, really communicate. I mean, she, she was, couldn't. but she wasn't. Yeah, her, her, she eventually got to the point from touching, she would, she would do both this. Can I touch your face? 
She would do both this so she could capture the wind coming from the nose and through the mouth and also feel what was coming through and feel the vibrations. And, feel the vibrations. and oh. then she would also, while she did that, she would put another hand on the throat so she could feel, feel what the sound. Like. And then she herself would try to began to do that. It. And the best she could kind of get, she could come close, was kind of like if she was going to say, I love you, it would be, that was the best she could get. But she, she tried. Interesting. Um, I would have loved to talk to her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, the Amatak Bakchan's character I thought was so interesting. And the, the relationship between him and the parents, especially the dad. Yeah. Uh, and so I don't know how much of that was in The Miracle Worker. That was accurate. Uh, he was actually, the dad was far crueler in real life. And as The Miracle Worker depicts his cruelty in terms of, she's an animal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put the center away. It was the mom who kept her around and actually called for the teacher because for the dad, she was just an embarrassment to the family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's terrible. Yeah. It was so sad. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, but, but yeah. yeah, Big B is everything people say he is. Yeah, he is so genius because um, we we saw this a, a little while back, and then we had seen that one hundred two not out trailer. Yeah, about last week, and the fact that he's doing all these different roles that because we were introduced to him but to, but with Pink and Bad Luck, mm -hmm. who he was just this old, um, this old very. Guy. Um, distinguished mm -hmm. uh, guy, and that's who I thought he was as an actor. I'm like, oh, he has mm -hmm. a lot of gravitas, but he's like, You're, he's like an actor. actor what I would love, is. you know, what I would love to do. Are you familiar with Waiting for Godot the play? Yeah, I would love to see Waiting for Godot with Big B, and I want to see that man on stage. Mm -hmm. I want to experience him. Mm -hmm. Did he ever do live. stage? Do we know that? Yeah, there's no know. way that man is that good and didn't do stage. Yeah, yeah. no way. Yeah, he he is such. I a, would be flabbergasted. Such a presence on stage, mm -hmm. and um. Also, uh, what's her face, Rami? Um, so you can Ronnie, talk about yeah. more. And as a performance, I thought she did very, very well. I, I mm -hmm. believed her fully. You can talk a little more about her. Uh, what is it, ASL? Mm -hmm. is it ASL? Oh yeah. yeah. By the way, yeah. guys, it, this is important to know, and they'll be able to give a vantage point. This is going to be a long review. They <laughs> they both studied and can speak sign language, ASL yeah. version. So um, um, you can tell us uh, how they all did with all of that. Yeah. But, uh, did, what do yeah. you think of her performance? Let's get into that as well as the girl who played her younger because mm -hmm. we all had takes on that mm -hmm. that I think are probably similar, but yeah. I, you girls talk about um, the girls that played I think life. Ronnie, her name, um, I think that she did great just overall. That she did really, really good. I can be super nitpicky and talk about like specific like, right. little tiny moments where there were like one thing or another but as far as the sign language i thought it was really interesting and i'd like to know is the sign language in india asl or s-e-e -E? because i know that in a, a lot of other places so in england it's very different sign language than it is in america and same right. with mexico and mm -hmm. there's a lot of it's different like, yeah. right, it's like languages there's almost. yeah each country has their own language so it's interesting that they did it in American Sign Language more as she got older. When she was little, they did it much more signing exact English. Interesting. To teach her that way. So I wonder, in India, is there an like a Hindi version of sign language yeah. or something yeah. like that? Hmm. Or do they just use American Sign Language? Right. I don't know. So that was it my was question. It was neat because I asked you during while we were watching it, I asked you and you were you were picking up because she, she's going to have full on conversations with people in sign language. Um, and, and, and the little nuances that you could pick up on. Now, mm -hmm. also, we think, I think we all had the same situation. I want to bring up the young actress who played yeah. her as a girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There were, for the most part, I, there, here's what I loved about her even more than Patty Duke. Mm -hmm. She captured what Helen has described of herself as pure animal. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, uh, Patty, Duke Patty didn't, didn't capture that. She yeah. captured wild. Yeah, and she had moments of frustration, but right. this girl was just... Yeah. Animal. What is she did name? very, very well. She did very well. And I never for, saw her break the, yeah. the, the sensory deprivation. For being a kid? Yes. Yeah. Like, she did she so well. And she, and she was really younger really than well. Patty Duke was. This was a young girl. Yeah. But I want to know the choice because we all had a... We all didn't the like same, this choice. Yeah. I, what? Her, her eyes. eyes. Her flying eyes. all over the place. Moving back and forth like that. One, if her eyes really did do, do that, mm -hmm. why did it change? When she was an adult, why and did they stop moving? Mm. Bonsali may have made an artistic decision to convey, I want her physicality to be animalistic at every yep. level, so her eyes need to be uncontrollable. And yep. as she gets older, 
she will gain a measure of composure and physicality that conveys that she now has more control over herself. Mm-hmm. It I get pulled it. me. It does, yeah. Because I get it. I get it artistically, but if you are familiar with right. the blind culture and right. blind people, mm-hmm. that's not. That's not. You don't have control. If you had no control over your you eyes, don't you don't gain control Correct. because you, you don't, don't know. Yeah. You don't know how to use those muscles because they don't work. Right, and some do. Some. Yeah. Some. Oh, okay. That's why some wear glasses is because they don't want people to be off put by the. <laughs> Fact, when they're talking to them, their eyes are doing this because they know that they fly all over because they've been told. And then there's others who it, who it is, doesn't do it. Who don't just, really, yeah. yeah. Their eyes are just straight. So for her to be really both like, was... It was very confusing work. because... <laughs> Interesting. You wouldn't grow up and gain control of that. I mean, unless... I've never heard of that. But that's, that'd be very odd. Would you say that was nitpicky or did that really bother you? Because for me... It bothered me. It, was it a, really bothered me. Did it really bother it, you? It bothered me. That okay. I noticed it so very... I noticed it so much... I was like, why is there such a distinct difference? Because mm. it wasn't just, oh, her eyes still wonder a little bit. Her eyes didn't wonder at all when she was an adult. Mm-hmm. They just were like, no, they did a little not, bit. But not like, not, like not, it, yeah. one, not as much as when she was little. Yeah, they would move a tiny bit, but the fact that there was nothing, they, it was going from one extreme to the next extreme, and that was a lot for me. Got just it. because I know that, yeah. it, and that would just be odd. So as a whole, I wasn't, um, I wasn't familiar with that aspect so it didn't, sure it didn't, right. it didn't register yeah, I was, yeah. So, I was like I guess that's normal um and so I didn't I, I'd I love to question. know in, in a minute I want to hear more about your just overall mm-hmm. feelings about the film and uh, things you liked or didn't like and other actors uh, I I would really love to, to, to talk to Sanjay about the research he did because the second mm-hmm. half which is more of the adult life of Helen which is not to pick a miracle <coughs> worker while it's a mixture of fact and fiction, it is, yeah. he knows Helen. Mm-hmm. Um, he knows her, mm-hmm. and he dedicated it to Helen. Yeah. So yeah. I would, I bet I could sit down with a cup of chai or coffee with that man and talk for yeah. hours on end about Helen because I, yeah. I, I sensed from the film his respect and admir. If you guys haven't read Helen and her books, please do. The woman was extraordinary. Not just because she was able to overcome blindness and deafness. That's not even meritorious when it comes to her capacity to express views about existence and life and right and wrong. And she's a brilliant human being. It was. Mm -hmm. Um, Overall, pros and cons you you felt about the movie. Start with Alexis. Mm, Her chance to speak. Yeah, because she's always so quiet. My only con was the I think. Yeah. That was really the only thing. Well, and there were a few actors that I didn't really like. The, some of the supporting yes. roles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Same with us. I just. That's, an, that's yeah. most. Um, most things. That most. Films. In the be- the beginning part of the film, I thought it looked a lot like a play. Mm. Like yeah, just the did. way that it was shot felt yeah. more like a play than a movie mm-hmm. to me. He, I'm sure he did that. We can talk. We haven't talked about him yet, but Sanjay Lee Vasali. Just once again, this is another one of those films outside. We, which one did we see last of his? It was. Um, I don't anyway, know. sorry. But, yeah, this was a visual masterpiece. Yeah. Delight. Just it was the same exact thing. It's very similar to um, the uh, Padmavat and Bastrami Masanani. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, in terms of not just not as totally he didn't have enough money. Obviously, obviously there was a lot more money placed in those films. <laughs> yeah, but I think it he also but he could do it so easily with a film like this. Just yes. the shots, especially even at the beginning where it was just I think it was her walking up for him. Can't remember who it was in the beginning, and it was just the house with the stuff yeah, in the background. Yeah, that just, just shots like that. Well, it so wouldn't beautiful. surprise me if his choices for that were to honor the fact that the first telling of Helen's story ever in artistry was through theater. Yeah. Mm. There was a play yeah. first, The Miracle Worker, and he honored it by making it feel like a play, especially in the first half. I, I could totally see this as a play oh, with yeah. this That's what it was. group of people. Um, oh. Gersnatch. Oh yeah, Gersnatch. Gersnatch. That's right. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so overall, did you like? Because you know Helen's story so well, you know Miracle Worker. Did you like the second half? Mm-hmm. Yeah? yeah, you like that conveying of her adult life and the transition of he helped her and now she helps him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Good. What about you? I love that. I think it was so beautiful how they switched it and made it that he is forgotten. And I love how dedicated she was. Yeah, we she cried. had the same dedication to you him. You all cried? Oh yeah, Good. oh yeah. yeah. At, the, at the penultimate moment of, I've used that word twice today, two points for me. Um, the moment at the end when she's, when she's with him and, <laughs> and, and he, she reaches him mm-hmm. 
and then he does the little dance. Mm-hmm. That just that like good. killed me. Oh my goodness. I love and then they open the window. Yeah. To yes. the rain. That just that was so. And she gorgeous. didn't let anybody see her in her cap and gown before he did. Like yeah. she didn't even it wear it so to graduation. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. I it just. Was, it was such a beautiful film. Um, yeah. The uh, I didn't. Cry. Uh, Wait. Shocker. Shocker. You didn't cry. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> What are the odds? I know. <laughs> I loved, even though I didn't know this wasn't, I was told it wasn't the original mm-hmm. story, but uh, yeah, I didn't know the story from anything. Um, and so the switch was just new to me, and I thought it was just part of the part of the thing that was in the Miracle Worker. Yeah, <laughs> right. I, do, I did love the switch because it showed, one, a ton of versatility in, yeah. in the acting. Oh, for, for sure. Big B. 100%. Like, yeah. He was already this quirky, and then he had to completely just go... Mm-hmm. Gone. gone. Especially those moments where he has to transition to that, like when he's sitting at the desk and you see something register on his mm-hmm. face. Mm-hmm. And then he just And then can't. he just says, Right. How do I go out? Yeah, right. that was sad. Yeah, that was very It sad. was as good the just best picture, mind. the best portrayal of that struggle of, of, of dementia and Alzheimer's that I've ever seen is in the film um you know what I'm gonna say. Yes. I uh, with really Julia, do. um Oh my, Alice. what is it? Alice. Yes. Thank you. Oh, Alice. that was great. Yes. Still Alice. Still Alice. Still Alice. Have Alice. you seen Still Alice? Alice? No. Oh, it's so good. Her portrayal oh, in that, so and it's, it's early onset. She's only like in Where her 40s. Where she's like so learning. Early. And you watch her yeah. go from de- discovering she's got it to watching her slowly de- and just go away, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. still being there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a beautiful story in the same way this is of that those who know them closest, that even when everyone else may think, man, they're just gone, mm-hmm. write them off, they're gone, they know that they know, mm-mm-mm-mm. There's they're, something they're, they're still, they're still in there. They're not gone until that heart stops gotcha. beating. And they're mm-hmm. still there. They're so just his, dealing his with... His transitioning of the yeah. character... It was my favorite performance of his that I've seen. It was so good. And that's hard. Wow. Because obviously we've seen a ton of great performances from him. Yeah. I would I would probably agree with this you. This is my favorite performance of because his. Because so while good. it was P- difficult, Piku is yeah. really great because it was so different yeah, from his other yeah, roles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love his gravitas and the bigness that he has in like Pink and Bad Look. Oh, but yeah. Yeah. This one for me was his most, to coin a phrase, thespianatic. He, mm-hmm. he really showed his acting muscles in this. Oh, yeah, 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 he just kind of opened his heart and you got to see every I little bit of this man's it work. Yes. Because you got to see. Yeah, I can't wait to see this. this is it. it changed so, so much throughout. So, all the stuff we've seen is stuff we can recognize him from. He's still older in most of this. Mm-hmm. Right. We haven't seen yeah, any his younger like, work. Cholet. I know. The, and uh, whatever it's called. The, I can't wait. And, I can't and, wait and, to see more. Crazy. Yeah, I loved this film. Yeah, I, I did too. I'd give it an A. I almost had no issues with this film. Outside of some of the smaller, very, actors. Like, like, very smaller small. actors, little moments that you like, can and the music. There was the really? theme they kept bringing oh, back yeah. over and over. That was so beautiful, and mm-hmm. it really, for me, from here on out, like when I talk about Helen and people who I when I've always told people you got to watch The Miracle Worker and you should read Helen's books. I say that all the time. I'm gonna add this like, to my this recommendations song. and say because that second half is the first time I've ever seen captured on film even though it's a male teacher with a female, it captures the reality of the closeness of Helen Mm -hmm. and and Annie, and Helen would want that. Yeah. She would want everyone to know how beautiful and wonderful and sacrificial Annie gave her life up for Helen. And that's exactly what he did. And that's what he did. She she gave her entire life up Mm -hmm. for Helen. And Helen, yes. And (laughs) And Helen was forever grateful for teacher. And yeah. this this was captured. It was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. beautiful. So well, beautiful yeah, film. Yeah. I give it A plus. A plus. Yeah. Beautiful. You, I don't think. I mean, the nitpick. directing, nit- you directing, can the main the acting was all great. Yeah, yeah. The leads the, were the, the directing, best. the 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 cinematography, obviously, and then the uh, the score as well, which we didn't mm. talk about a lot. But I thought the score was so really good. And as the well. very the very that just that difference of how she came out of the black and into it, and then he came it from it. Mm-hmm. You know? to it. It just was beautiful. And she wanted to just be with him in that process. So she, from him dedicating his life to her, she then dedicated, dedicated her, life. her life to him. Yeah, it was And beautiful. giving him back everything mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. he'd given her. Yeah, so let us know what we should watch and review next. Also, let us know what you thought of this film.